Hey everyone, Nut Free Mama here. The next dessert we're gonna make is ooey gooey bars. Okay, let's start out with our ingredients. We're gonna need one strawberry cake mix. Um, you could just buy whatever kind you want. I bought Pillsbury. We need a uh, half a cup of oil. We need two eggs. We need two of the um, marshmallow creams, seven ounces. Um, I just used the Kraft Jet Puffed. You need two of those. We need six cups of Fruity Pebbles, we need six cups of mini marshmallows, and then we need three tablespoons of butter. Okay, first off we're going to go ahead and preheat our oven to 350. Then you want to spray a 9 by 13 baking dish with some cooking spray. And then in a mixer, in a mixable bowl, you want to go ahead and put your cake mix, your oil, and your eggs. And I'm going to go ahead and beat that with a mix, uh, mixer for about two minutes on medium. Okay, this is what it should look like. Um, it's going to be really sticky, nothing like cake mix. Um, you can go ahead and beat that for about a minute, and then you're going to have to just do the rest by spoon. But this is actually for the crust of our mixture. So we're going to go ahead and spoon that out into our 9 by 13 baking dish, and we're going to bake that for 10 to 13 minutes at 350. Okay, after you get that in your pan, you're going to want to go ahead and press that um, firmly but gently down with the... Um, just all along your pan. You just want to make sure that that's all evenly distributed and it's really hard to do with a spoon because it wants to stick. Then we're going to go ahead and put that in the oven um, for 10 to 13 minutes. Okay, this is what our strawberry cake crust looks like. Now we're going to go ahead and take our marshmallow creams and pour those on top and spread them out generously. Okay, I have a couple tips for this part. Um, if you want to just go ahead and do that when the cake is still warm because that helps it melt and just glop it. I just did several, several little um, spots on there because if you try to smooth that out, um, it does stick to your cake and you can have a mess on there. So I just let mine, I glopped it all over there, let it melt for a couple seconds and then it was easy to spread out like this. Okay, next we're going to take our three tablespoons of butter, melt that in the microwave um, for about 45 seconds or so, well, probably about 10 seconds or so just to melt the butter. And then we're going to go ahead and add our mini marshmallows. Remember that is six cups, and we're going to just microwave that um, in little increments and stir it until it's smooth. Okay, after your marshmallows are nice and smooth like this, we're going to go ahead and add our Fruity Pebbles, um, six cups at a time, and just go ahead and really stir those in and really incorporate the marshmallow and the Fruity Pebbles. This is what your mixture should look like. Next, we're going to just go ahead and drop that by large spoonfuls um, over top of the marshmallow fluff layer, and then we're going to spread it out, and then we're going to firmly press it down because you want everything to stick together. Okay, that was super <laughs> ooey and gooey. My fingers look like they had spider webs on them. This is what it's going to look like, though, and we're going to go ahead and um, wrap that with like some saran wrap and put it in the refrigerator so it can harden and cool. Okay, this is what it should look like when it's done, and you can just cut this into bars. Okay, taste tester. Yay. Have a taste. I Is it yummy? Mm -hmm. Okay, come back and see us again. Like and subscribe. Happy Easter. Bye. Bye.